Set within a semi-tropical rainforest valley, surrounded by volcanic peaks, powered by Red Ark, welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2020. Wedgetail's legendary, category-defining slide-on freedom machine is a remarkable demonstration of Australian-made ingenuity and innovation. It's custom designed for those ready to explore every nook and cranny of Australia's most beautifully remote destinations. It's insanely spacious inside and has everything you need for an enriching outdoor adventure lifestyle. Imagine it, your wedge tail is set up, maybe somewhere like this, beside a peaceful bend of a river somewhere. You have 105 litres of available water in your tanks, 200 watts of solar, up to 200 amp hours of lithium battery power, and then for a change of scene, you can step up into a true indoor sanctuary. It's blissful in here. Let's see if the judges thought the same. When I spoke with Darren, the owner of Wedgetail, he said his favourite attribute of the Wedgetail camper was its ability to provide freedom to people. David, do you agree with this? Oh, absolutely. For people who don't want a tow, I don't think you can do better than a Wedgetail. I think this is just the top of the line in slide on campers. It's 360 degree views. It really is a freedom machine. For them, this camper is all about accessibility. So we're talking about accessibility and functionality in everything that it does. You're looking at a kitchen that is small but adequate. You've got access to the camper itself through a retractable step with a handrail. You've got small steps that lead into the bed. You've got a dinette that's actually functional with a nice high back seat and a table you can sit behind without doing knee rubs with your partner. I mean, I was really impressed with the amount of space upstairs in the living space, Tim. What did you think of it, being a big guy? Look, it's really hard to beat the space inside the witch tail. So you're elevated, which just gives you a really nice presence over the environment around you. But then me being two metres tall, it's just awesome to be able to walk in and have the amount of head heights within that camper. It adds a sense of spaciousness that you don't get in a lot more compact tents on top of more commonly seen campers. And like most slide-on campers, the, the main benefit there is, is freeing up the hitch. So now you can have a trailer with motorbikes, you can have a boat. But one of the things that I really appreciated in the Wedgetail was the quality of the welding. Did you notice too how with this unit, everything that you need access to, you can access from the outside and from the inside as well? I thought that was a great feature. Now there's seven access doors on the outside of the Wedgetail. And inside you've got a separate cooktop, separate sink, and access to the fridge, access to all the back of your pantry area around the kitchen. All of those things that you can live inside, you can live outside. The camper as we saw it was 750 kilos. By the time you fill the water tank and etc., you had about 100 kilos available for load capacity. And that enforces the discipline to make you think about what you do need. But again, slide on campers enforce a form of innovation and ingenuity. And what I really like to match that lithium battery, which is about 125 amp hour, was the solar panel. So normally it's roof mounted as you're driving along, but then after you deploy, you can detach it and then have it as a ground-based solar panel uh, by a plug on the other side of the vehicle. And how about that indoor shower and toilet setup, complete with its own wastewater system? No more hiking dirty feet back from the shower block. And also, of course, you can uh, drop those four legs down, unbolt it, and then just drive the truck out and, and just have it sitting there on legs. Tim, did that sort of feature impressive? There's huge appeal in the ability to be able to leave the camper at your campsite and just shoot off. But the other thing you get is that you've still got a full-on work ute as well. And if you're back home, you can leave the camper on its legs, which are electric, by the way, so really easy to use, uh, and then use your ute for normal, you know, tradey stuff. What about the, uh, the value of the camper, cap? This is a camper that speaks to a certain market that is prepared to approach a certain price point in order to achieve what they want. If, if you have the opportunity to spend considerable time on the road or you want the flexibility to have a tradie ute that you can use on a weekend, um, it makes all the sense in the world. It won't appeal to everybody because the, the cost is just that, that little higher, but you're paying for what you get. 75,000 as we saw it, it's not a cheap package, but when you compare it with camper trailers of this quality in terms of engineering and component fit out, that's a pretty competitive price. Okay, there we have it, the Wedgetail Slide-On. A beautifully made, bona fide freedom machine that will have you all over Australia, no worries at all.